Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to recreate the Igor artwork by Tyler the Creator. Uh, I thought it'd be the perfect time to make this just because of the whole Drake incident. This will probably reach a lot more people and a lot more artists who are looking to uh, create artwork for themselves to save money and so they don't have to pay a graphic designer. And this is a very simple artwork, so it'll be a lot easier for any artist out there who's looking to do this. Um, graphic design stuff by themselves. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do hit the thumbs up button, let's get straight into it. So when choosing an image, you wanna choose obviously a self portrait. Um, that's the sort of gist of the whole artwork. It's um, Igor or Tyler um, in the middle right here. So I'm gonna choose a picture of Drake um, just because the whole incident and stuff like that, uh, that'd be funny. And you also want to choose a picture that has their shoulders in it, um, just because you can see it's sort of cut off right here. So you want to do the same thing. So I'm going to take this picture, I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm going to leave the artwork in the background just for reference uh, for how big it should be and stuff like that, like the text and the picture. The font for Igor is actually custom made, so there's none that um, you can just download but i did find a similar one it is paid however but you can use whatever font for this one for um igor right here i would just recommend choosing a bold one i found the subtext however for like all songs written produced and arranged by whatever whatever i found the font for that so i'll leave it in the description so basically i'm gonna just resize this so press ctrl t we're gonna drag this so it's bigger you're gonna have to cut the background out but before i do that i'm just gonna cut the bottom portion because in Tyler's picture, it doesn't show all the way down. It's only the top of his shoulders. Um, you also notice that there's like straight line cuts on the left and right right here. So we're gonna take the pen tool. So we're just gonna go up and delete this portion. And then we're gonna go up. Let's actually move closer to the side of his body right there. I think we need to do the same thing for this. So there you go. And now we're just gonna make a straight cut to the side of his face. You can see that it's like that in the artwork. It's just straight lines. You don't see the bumps and grooves and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make another cut just so it switches up a bit and it's just not a straight line. It's like two straight lines instead of one. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So there you go. You're gonna also have to turn the picture black and white. What that does is it kind of complements the background. So there's like a black and white picture and then there's a colorful background. Pink works actually really good. It complements the black and white a lot. You can try using another color, but I think pink is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna cut the rest of it and come back to you guys. So what you'll also notice is the tops cut off and like throughout the face it like has a little like ridges and stuff like that like it's it's not like round so you sort of just want to make random cuts like straight line cuts so like here i'm gonna make a cut and then just here sort of mimic what's going on like around the ear just like make a random cut right there so there you go let's resize it and make it a little bit bigger and we're also gonna make a cut towards the bottom here because you can see this is like not straight at the bottom. So we're gonna do that. So next we're gonna make it black and white. I would use the gradient map for this. Make it a little bit bigger too. And now I'm gonna use the curves to make that faded look. So you wanna press curves and you wanna drag this up a little bit. That's it so that the shadows like lift a bit. We're gonna move this up and then we're gonna sort of just adjust it so that there's a contrast. You can also just use brightness and contrast for that, but it's a little bit faded, so you don't wanna make it too dark. So that's it for the actual photo part of it. I'm gonna use the color picker tool right here and just select the color in the background. I'm gonna hide this and I'm gonna press Alt backspace and then it'll fill in the background. Next, we're gonna add the text. So the text that I found that was similar is Dynamo. We're just gonna write Drake, highlight on the text and then select the same color. We're gonna press Control C to resize. 
and then we're gonna center it. And then the last font is Jake input. We're gonna write the same thing. So it's called, J or Jack input, my bad, not Jake. And we're gonna center align this. And you can see that there's a big space. So we're gonna highlight this, press control T and then you'll see these options right here. And you just wanna lower this part. So I think the text is a bit more spaced out on the original. So we're gonna go to vertical alignment and we're gonna. So there you go. Now we're gonna hide the background and I'm gonna change this to Drake's name. So Aubrey Drake Graham. And there you have it. You might also notice there's like some sort of texture just to make up for that. You can just press filter noise add noise and there you go it's a little bit different of a texture but you can really use any texture you want i think the only thing that sort of doesn't look that well is the face so what we're going to use is use posterize and we're going to apply it to the face not too much though you can see what that does sort of like deep fries it we're going to do it just so that it's a little bit darker and deeper blocks and then there we go it looks a bit more cartoony so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.